Yo, what's up guys? My name is James. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video and it is going to be what's in my bag for the 2023-2024 or indoor football season. So to start off, um, I play for the Ohio Extreme. We are a new team, hoping to get our name up there. And our colors are black and red. So for my helmet this season, I'm using the Rydell Speed Flex, you know, I wear size medium. I got the shock visor because my old team was purple and orange. My face mask is a Zooty Ball Hawk. It was about $200 if you want one. My mouthpiece is just a shock doctor from Walmart. And, you know, I think I kind of look mean in it. I have some pictures that you'll, you've probably seen already because the intro. But, you know, like, it was bad. It was, it was, it was cool as shit, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, the drip factor. Drip, drip over skill. But, and then my pads are the Shut Y Flex 4.0s. And on the back of it, I have my back plate. And I have everything that means something to me. Fun fact, these are youth, extra larges. I wear youth because I like the mobility I have them though. Because I'm a skill player and I want to have as much mobility I can. And whenever I get hit, I don't really feel anything. So like, it feels good. Whenever I get hit, I don't really feel it. So I can last longer in the games. Compared to adult pads, I feel mostly heavy hit for some reason. But the gloves I'm going to be using are probably going to be these. The, the Nike Super Bad 3.0, 4.0s, I forget. But they're from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And what I love most about these gloves are they're not like your typical gloves. They're leather. So like when it's wet and stuff, this is what all the receivers be using to make those crazy catches in the rain. And then... My practice glove, I have these, and you can tell, the, I don't even know where the other one is, I don't know where it went, I think I left it at practice or something, but I have my play call, my coach wrist, my play, my, yeah, my coach band, I got the other one right here, um, I have an extra mouthpiece in case a teammate forgot one, um, it's brand new, so don't worry, I'm not giving, in case somebody lost it, I'm not giving them a used mouthpiece. Not that dirty. Um, I have a Jordan towel. Um, it has my name on it. And my old number. Because you got to label your stuff for people to steal it. Especially when you're out of high school. And then I have my practice jersey from my first ever semi-pro team. This isn't mine. This is my boy Aces. Big shout out to him. He got me back into football. After thinking I'd never touch the field again. And he also is my, my defensive coordinator on my arena team. So that's cool. Then for the girdle I'm going to be using this year, I have the Nike Pro 5-pad girdle. You know, I, I think it was like 80 bucks. I do not wear knee pads because we're not required to wear knee pads in semi-pro and arena. So that's why I don't have those. And for my cleats... This is a throwback. I got the Nike Untouchable Pros. Untouchable Vapor Pros. And they have carbon fiber, so they're like really light. If you do, if you know anything about these, these are like the second best cleat that's ever came out in the past like 20 years. And the most important piece of equipment I have in here is deodorant. Because people don't know how to use deodorant and they'd be musty. But I have... A short sleeve hoodie that I wear for games to get warmed up in and then I also have a long sleeve even though we're it's getting cold because it's getting cold but we play indoors for arena so I don't want turf burn I also need to buy turf shoes because if anybody knows anything about indoor turf it's nothing like outdoor turf I also have compression pants so like my legs won't get messed up and I also have slant sandals 
because you know you gotta like your feet be hurting after the game and stuff so you want to be in something comfortable i don't have my um shower stuff in there but yeah because i'm getting that ready the night before the game um just a little bit about me i played football my junior and senior year i wasn't really that good so i went to the army not wanting to go to college or anything always had dreams of like everybody playing football to make it professional and like i want to tell you guys that you can make it even if it's not like right out of high school you can make it professional in arena football like i am i um Recently got offered a contract for the Ohio Extreme, which is a professional team over in Ohio. We're not part of the National Arena League or anything, but we're like two steps below that. So we can still get paid during the games. Um, my first game is actually Saturday. I'm going to be doing a game day vlog, so it'll probably be uploaded sa Sunday. I'm going to do my best. Um, let y'all know how that goes. Uh, my boy Tyler's gonna be mic'd up, so he's gonna send me the footage after I get the game day footage. I'm gonna end up soon. I don't know how soon, but I'm gonna get a GoPro and put it in my face mask right here. So let's say this belt buckle is the GoPro, It'll go like right here, but on the inside. So it'll be like. It'd be like this facing out. It'd be like that facing out. So you can get like my audio and what I see on the field. I'm also going to be doing tips on what I see, how I read the defense, offense, how I read the quarterback, where I know where the quarterback's going. I'll also be posting bloopers and like fails and stuff. Um, but a little about me about my football career. Like I said, I moved to the Army. I went to the Army, then I moved to Washington and ended up playing for the Northern Northwest Ohio, Northwest Hurricanes. And they ended up not being a team after the season that I came. And then I ended up playing for the Tacoma Sabres in the GDFL. Um, we didn't do that good. And then I came back home after I got out of the Army in the middle of the season. Ended up playing with the Finley Knights. And they ultimately ended up losing in the bowl game, which I was thankful to be a part of, but I tore my hamstring in that game. And I ended the season with like four tackles, two pass breakups, nothing major. And then I joined, they rebranded as the Flag City Phantoms. And I was a backup safety because I came late, but I was a starting kicker. I had... 25 solo tackles, three sacks, three forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, um, one, two interceptions, one was a pick six, uh, like 15 pass breakups. Mind you, this was all as a backup, so like if I was a starter, it'd be a lot better. And this year, I'm probably gonna go back with the Phantoms, and I'm probably gonna do another video about all that later down the line but thank you for joining me for my first video and stay tuned for more content